There we go. We got a fish going for it. Come on. And we've done it. We've hooked our first fish at the first diamond location. And it actually seems like this one has a little bit of fight to it. Let's see how big this blue kerper is. That's going to be a very solid silver coming in at 3.71 pounds. But this is not the primary fish that we are here at this location for today. Because the location that we're currently standing at is a spot where I caught a diamond canary kerper on the first day of release of the brand new South Africa map. I spent a total of about an hour digging through the official The Angler Discord yesterday and marking down every spot that people caught diamonds. That way, when I finally did yesterday's live stream, I was able to just fish those locations and try to get as many diamonds as possible. And over the course of a four hour period, we managed to pull in three different diamonds. But the location that we're at right now is where we got our diamond canary kerper. And as you can tell, there's a lot more markers in this location than just a canary kerper marker. Because this location that we caught our diamond canary kerper at is also a spot where people have caught diamond redbreast kerper, diamond blue kerper, and diamond smallmouth bass. It is a fantastic location that is literally right on the starting outpost. And you just go over to the dock and start fishing off the edge of it. If you are wanting to know what gear I use for the Canary Kerper, this is what I use right here. I use the Y934 Romulus. You can really use whatever rod and reel you want, but these are the two that I use. The uh, Romulus and then the Brugden. And then I use 8-pound fluorocarbon as well as the Waggler Float, size 7 hook, and Bloodworms. Now let's take a look at that beautiful Diamond Canary Kerper before we head over to the next location. I see a really nice Canary Kerper. That Kerper is really nice. Please go for it. Yes. Oh, that's a good Kerper. That's a solid Kerper there. Yeah. Is that a gold or a diamond? That could be gold or diamond, I think. <gasps> oh, hey! Yes! 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 Diamond Canary Kerper! <laughs> we got wow. the Diamond Canary Kerper! That's one of the ones I wanted the most, not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful! That's so cool, man. That? I knew <laughs> this was a chunky boy the second I saw him. There we go. We got a fish on at the second location. Now, this is not the diamond that you will be catching here. As far as I've seen, I have not seen anybody get a diamond spotted bass off of this location. However, there is a couple other diamonds that have been caught here, including the two that I managed to catch myself. This location right here is a beautiful location to fish, and it will net you some diamond blue kerper if you're lucky, as well as uh, some diamond red breast kerper. I have only been able to get the diamond blue kerper, though, so I would recommend targeting those, and hey, if you get one of the others, then you get one of the others. But this location right here, you will want to be fishing with a spinning setup and a size 7 popper. Again, doesn't really matter what spinning rod and reel you use, as long as it can handle like a 6 pound fish, because that's about the size of those diamond blue kerper, is a little bit over 6 pounds and sometimes even heavier. And the size 7 popper seems to work absolutely beautifully. In fact, let's try to catch a couple more of them before we show the clips of the diamond blue kerper. Whenever I use the popper, I try to do the twitching motion. It seems to be the best way to attract these kerper to bite. And also, you can cast anywhere around this dock. As long as you're standing on the dock or like around the dock, you can cast pretty much in any direction and have the chance of catching a diamond blue kerper. I probably should have mentioned this at the beginning of the video, but understand that diamonds are a rare thing. Just because it's an area where you could catch a diamond doesn't mean that you will catch a diamond. Some people catch three diamonds in four hours like I did. Other times you catch one diamond in like an entire week of play. You never quite know. It's unpredictable. And that's part of what makes this game great. There we go. We got a Kerper going for it. And that is a blue Kerper on the line. Let's go ahead and get that guy in. There we go. A silver blue Kerper. But this is definitely not the biggest Kerper we managed to get out of this location because yesterday during the live stream, we managed to get two diamonds and multiple golds as well. 
all well, four that's years. a big fish. Oh, we got oh. big Kerper on. Big Kerper, big Kerper. My loyal. Oh, is viewers. that a diamond? Yeah, they were over here, not me. Ah, oh, dude, it was so close to diamond. Oh my gosh, a 5.68 pound gold blue Kerper. Wow. But the difference between the hunter and this is like in the hunter, it's just like any. Oh, well, oh, that's big. Oh, that's big. Oh, that's big. Hey! We did it! Diamond Blue Kerper! Oh, you suck. Oh, we did it! 6.62 pound Diamond Blue Kerper. All Let's I heard go. was. Congrats. All I, I know that's all I heard too. Because I unmuted <laughs> halfway through the scream. <laughs> Wow. Let's go, guys. Oh my wow. gosh. That's freaking awesome. 6.62 pound diamond blue Kerper right in front of Doan and Johnny. <laughs> oh, Doan got a diamond blue Kerper. Let's go, Doan. Maybe that's my problem. Maybe I was going too big to start with. Kerper again. Oh, ooh, that's a big Kerper. That's high tension. Oh, this has to be at least a gold, right? Oh, here we go. Here's a tiger. Hey, four and a half pound gold blue Kerper. Let's go. Oh, good. Oh. Puppy Slayer. Oh, that's huge. Oh, that's huge. <clears throat> oh, that's a diamond for sure. That's a diamond for sure, right? Diamond Kerper again. Let's go. You lint liquor. Two diamond blue Kerper in the same spot. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, this one's not as big though, 6.19 pounds, but still amazing. We are popping off right now. There we go. We got another one on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video right here. Hopefully it was helpful for you. This should give you a little bit of a head start on this South Africa reserve in getting a couple of the easier to obtain diamonds early on. And by easier to obtain, I of course mean the lighter weight ones because these are both smaller diamond fish and that's going to make it so no matter what your level is, no matter what type of gear you've got, you'll probably be able to come over here to either of these locations and catch yourself a gold or a diamond if you're very, very lucky. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like as well as a comment down below and also subscribe to the channel if you're brand new and it's helping you out. Thank you all so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.